Joanne Crapo, and I'm the CEO for the Girl Scouts of Maine. The Gold Award represents the highest achievement in Girl Scouting for girls. To earn this unique award, Senior and Ambassador Girl Scouts tackle issues important to them and drive lasting change in their communities. The Gold Award recognizes significant projects that require a minimum of 80 hours of work and address a local or global issue with a sustainable impact. They identify an issue, investigate it thoroughly, put together a support team and a project plan that needs Girl Scout approval, and then these girls take action and carry it out and ultimately report on the project's results. The Girl Scout Gold Award is remarkable because it is not only proof that she can make a difference, but she already has. In addition, the Gold Award is a key that opens doors to scholarships, preferred college admissions, and many career opportunities. And I'm so grateful to lead an organization that can inspire girls to their full potential. Gold Award, Girl Scouts, thank you for your passion, your hard work, and your problem solving skills, and for making a difference in your communities. You have truly achieved an amazing distinction and made a difference in our world. Congratulations, Girl Scouts. Hello, Girl Scouts. It's Sylvia Acevedo, CEO of Girl Scouts of the USA. I'm excited to say congratulations to all this year's Gold Award Girl Scouts. Today, you have joined a very special group of Girl Scouts by earning the Gold Award, a Girl Scout's greatest achievement and the capstone of the Girl Scout leadership experience. I'm so proud of all the incredible work you've done. You've tackled issues that are important to you to drive meaningful and lasting change in your communities and beyond. Now, your path to this moment was not easy, and I'm sure you experienced setbacks and unforeseen challenges along the way. In true Girl Scout fashion, you didn't give up. You confronted the obstacles you faced, flexed your leadership muscles, and made the world a better place in the process. In earning your gold award, all of you have gained the experience and life skills that put you on a path of success in college and life. Skills like strategic thinking, communication, collaboration, problem solving, and time management. You are the leader society needs. This is such a significant achievement and you all should feel very proud. I want to also thank all the parents and volunteers whose invaluable guidance help you reach your goal. You are truly making a positive impact in the lives of girls, championing, mentoring, and inspiring them to be the leaders and change makers the world needs. I want all the new Gold Award Girl Scouts to take this moment in and enjoy it. Whenever you face challenges in life that seem too overwhelming, just remember this accomplishment and know that you have the courage, the confidence, and character to overcome any obstacles in your way. We can't wait to see what you'll accomplish next. Thank you and enjoy celebrating this remarkable accomplishment. Congratulations. Hello, this is Governor Janet Mills. Hello, Girl Scouts. Congratulations on earning the Girl Scouts Silver and Gold Awards. As recipients of uh, Girl Scouts highest honors, you should all feel very proud of this accomplishment. Your dedication and persistence and commitment to service has prepared you well for your future. The leadership skills and values you've developed through scouting will benefit not only you, but your communities, our state, and the world and make them a better place. As the first woman governor of Maine, I hope you will put your leadership skills to work in your communities, your schools, your careers, maybe even run for office sometime. Again, congratulations on achieving these prestigious and well-earned awards. I encourage you all to continue to work hard, and I wish you the very best in the future on behalf of all the people of Maine. Thank you.
G-I-R-L. Congratulations on the celebration. I love the idea. I love the concepts of G-I-R-L. Go-getter, innovator, risk taker, and leader. That, that says it all. I mean, that's the goal of the Girl Scouts. It ought to be all of our goal. We need to be ready to go, to have a positive attitude. That makes all the difference. And then be ready to innovate, do new things, try new things, take risks. It's okay to fail every now and then. Take risks, be smart about them, but try to go beyond yourself. And finally, be a leader. Be a leader. Be of good courage. Be a visionary and be a leader and a G-I-R-L. Congratulations, have a great celebration. Isabel is a documenter of the truth and she discovered that the truth is that vaping is a major health issue for youth, an epidemic. Through her research, Isabel determined there are many root causes of this epidemic Isabel's goal for her Gold Award project was to shed a light on these causes and change teens' mindsets around vaping. To help combat the youth epidemic and educate children and teens, Isabel filmed a documentary-style video which highlighted five essential lessons. Viewers learned that they are loved and supported, how not to be tricked by tobacco companies, the need to take care of their bodies, they are strong and have the ability to stand up for themselves and their peers, and where to find help if they or someone they know need it. Isabel's video included underlying themes of mindfulness, self-love, and mental health awareness, and was shown to seventh graders to educate them before they are entirely exposed to the peer pressure and curiosity they might face in later years. Isabel knew her project was having an impact when high schoolers decided to watch it themselves and then actually decided to listen and then have a discussion afterward about what they have learned. To ensure sustainability, Isabel's video will continue to be shown in health classes at Cape Elizabeth Middle and High Schools as part of their health curriculum moving forward. At times throughout the project, I was nervous and at times I was discouraged. However, I learned that once you put yourself out there, others will follow in your footsteps and the journey becomes less scary. I have started a conversation about vaping that is so important to have. This alone will start a ripple effect for change. Isabella grew up in the Cumberland Congregational Church and knew for her gold award she wanted her project to give back to this community that had helped her. Isabella discovered that in the church's 100 plus year history, they had amassed a large quantity of photographs documenting the church and parishioners' history. However, these photographs were stored in various places throughout the church and many were not labeled. This sparked the idea for Isabella to focus her Gold Award project on historical preservation for the church. Isabella created a photo organizational system which would allow her and her team of volunteers to systematically document and organize the church's photos. As Isabella put it, history is always fading and I wanted to capture it before time ran out. Employing the help of longtime church members, Isabella led volunteers to sort and label images of the church's history. She also created a new archiving system and worked with the church's youth group, the Pilgrim Fellowship, to ensure the continuation of her project into the future. Her project really pushed Isabella to organize her thoughts, ideas, and goals. She learned to be more accurate and concise in communicating her goals with her volunteers, and she developed the ability to manage a team. Isabella said her project allowed her to learn things I never knew and discover the importance of members who came before me and how they shaped the church and how it is today. Isabella's positive impact to her church will live on, as will the important history of her church and town that she helped preserve. Audra's town did not have any way of remembering its history, and she discovered that as time went by, the town of Stoneham's history was dying along with its people. Through collaboration with other historical societies, older residents of Stoneham and town officials, Audra learned that the cause of this issue was a lack of means to preserve historical artifacts. Audra's Gold Award project aimed to address this lack of means by creating a 501c3 nonprofit historical society to oversee the historic preservation of the town of Stoneham. 
To create an effective historical society, Audra and her team knew they would have to do more than just learn about the process of creating a nonprofit organization. They would also need to learn about the town's history and how to maintain historical artifacts. The first step was creating an organizational system for the society to inventory and catalog their artifacts. This was accomplished via the use of Past Perfect Museum software, which is designed specifically for artifact cataloging. In addition to establishing the historical society and its nonprofit status, Audra created display cases for rotating displays of local artifacts which are housed within the Stoneham Town Office. Audra hopes that eventually the Historical Society will gain enough interest and raise enough funds to purchase or construct their own building. Creating a nonprofit organization ensured the continuation of Audra's project for future generations. When asked about her project and what she learned by doing it, Audra said, I learned that I have skills that allow people to get interested in what I am promoting. Just putting yourself out there creates a positive energy that gets others excited. Churches across America are suffering from declining attendance, forcing many to seek new ways to maintain vitality in this modern era. As a member of the Cumberland Congregational Church, Kylie decided to take on this issue as the focus of her Gold Award project. She discovered that her church provides space for multiple groups and organizations to meet and host activities. However, the room in which these functions are held struggled to meet the needs of the groups. It needed to be transformed to improve usability and make it more welcoming. To accomplish this and ensure her church community had a space to help it thrive, Kylie set out with a team of volunteers to rehabilitate and revitalize her church community's basement. Leading a project with many different people, contributing various skills and talents, was not something Kylie had done before. She said, I learned a lot about myself, as well as what it means to be a good leader. Her rehabilitation project included cleaning the space, giving it a completely new paint job, retiling the ceiling, adding cabinets and a countertop for additional storage space, removing outdated and worn furniture, installing a new whiteboard and curtains, as well as designing and painting a 4x4 one-of-a-kind mural for the space. To ensure her project would continue on, the church has guidelines for groups using the space so that it will be well-maintained long into the future. Kylie even provided additional touch-ups. To Kylie, the most successful part of her project was making the room more inviting and just more happy feeling overall. Jessica has witnessed firsthand how favoritism affects certain sports within the athletic community at her high school. She discovered that the Lisbon High School sports budget mainly supports the football team while leaving other teams to play with expired equipment and uniforms from decades before or to play with nothing at all, especially teams like the Special Olympics bocce team. Lack of funding is an issue at schools across the world, but Jessica felt that in her community, the Special Olympics was regarded as less than important in relation to the football team, and she didn't want this to be the case at her school. Jessica took action against sports bias within her high school by building a bocce court. The court engages students on the Special Olympics team and the school community as a whole in a social activity that teaches skills such as teamwork and communication. The court that Jessica constructed is made of stone dust, allowing the Special Olympic team to finally have a regulation court to practice on, which will increase their skills and improve how they play. Jessica's project is being sustained by the high school's maintenance team, who will take care of the upkeep of the court. Additionally, Jessica researched and made sure that the materials used and construction was high quality to last through many sports seasons. This project really opened my eyes to the meaning of leadership. Taking control over a part of my life and conducting a project is something that has changed my view of myself and proven to me that with courage and strength, I can become the woman that I dreamed of being as a brownie. Helen's love of bees began when she started beekeeping with her dad in 2018. She was absolutely fascinated by the thousands of different species and families. Helen soon discovered that most people hadn't heard of native bees other than bumblebees and that most are unaware of the adverse effect humans are causing native bee species through the use of pesticides and chemical fertilizers. In fact, bee populations are dropping because of a combination of factors, including loss and destruction of habitats. 
few people realized or expressed concern about bee habitats being destroyed. Helen wanted to change that and her Gold Award did just that, successfully raising awareness and engaging her community to get involved with bee habitat revitalization and preservation. Helen's project included the creation and distribution of an informational pamphlet she developed with assistance from a professor of insect ecology and insect pest management from the University of Maine. With the help of her school's beekeeping club that she had helped start, she designed and constructed bee houses that were given away along with wildflower seeds at native bee education classes for youth. Helen designed the curriculum as a part of her Gold Award project, which included information on the effects of pesticides, bee habitats, repopulation efforts, and how the youth could contribute to restoring native bee populations. Her biggest takeaway from her Gold Award project was, this project taught me more than anyone could possibly know. It helped me step outside my shell. It showed me how to express myself honestly and frankly. I learned how to effectively organize and execute a program that I designed. I also learned how to keep people interested and engage in something that I was talking about by focusing my passion and being enthusiastic. But mostly, I learned the immense power that I have. What would you say is something that you learned about yourself through this process? Even though I'm just one person, I can still make an impact. I learned that I'm capable of pushing myself outside my comfort zone. Personally, that I learned about my gift as a storyteller and organization skills. I definitely learned a lot of leadership skills. Um, it is a leadership project, so I did learn a lot about that, especially delegating within leadership and not always being the center leader of the project. I'm definitely more tenacious and determined than I thought I was. I learned that my voice is a lot more powerful than I know. I realized the reach that I can have in my community. But I realized that once I stood up, I was really able to make a difference and that my voice, even though um, I'm just a kid, is still valuable and powerful. And um, so I think that really was inspiring for me. What did you find challenging about this project? There were certainly a lot of challenges in gathering all the people. You know, I, I couldn't do it alone. I needed a team and uh, building something physically. I needed a tractor. I needed um, a device to till the dirt. I needed a compactor. It took a lot of machinery, which of course I didn't own personally. I had to find people who were willing to donate their time and equipment to help me build it. I'm a pretty quiet kid um, and I'm very shy and so doing this project I had to talk to a lot of people and when I presented it I had to stand up in front of big crowds and um, that was really challenging for me. Finding that middle ground and finding ideas and working with them and finding something that would work for everyone in the end was definitely a challenge but I think I we got there in the end. <laughs> What advice would you give to a Girl Scout that is looking to go for the gold? You need to have perseverance. Just persevere through the tough times. There's a lot of pushback and you might hit challenges. And even though it seems like you can't keep going, you should keep moving because it, it is possible and you can do it. Even though it looks pretty ambitious, you have what it takes. So. Definitely find a topic and a project and just the problem in your community that really speaks to you. Finding something that you're really passionate about is where you're going to find the drive to really keep going and do the best that you can do. So it just, it takes longer than you think it's going to, so start earlier. So I'd also say if you're not even sure if it's going to work out or you're not entirely sure what you're going to do, just like take the leap of faith. And I think the most important thing in trying to achieve something big and make a difference is to make connections. The more connections you have, the more opportunities and success you can find. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait, just get it done. A key aspect of me completing all of my bronze, silver, and gold awards was picking projects that I really had personal involvement and interest in. I think sometimes it can be easy to think about different project opportunities and think this is what I should do because it's an awesome project, but it's not something that you feel attached to and personally involved in, and then it's easier to somewhat give up or not get 
the emotional involvement needed to complete the project. So what advice would you give to either your younger self or a younger girl that's getting involved in Girl Scouting and wants to make it all the way up through going for the gold and then beyond that? Stay active in your troop and trying to fundraise and do new activities and help out the community. The more activities your troop does and helps out, the more fun it is. Throughout Girl Scouts, I've gotten to experience many new things that I would have never experienced before. It's definitely shaped my character and feeling confident in myself to do new things. When I went out to college, I was given a um, Skesto scholarship membership for my strength and leadership skills around um, my home community. So throughout college, I've been a part of um, leadership and volunteer actions at school to try to help my school grow as a better place and to make a stronger community for us there. And I think that really Girl Scouts gave me a strong foundation for that and helped me prepare really well. Helped me learn just the importance of, of like sisterhood and helping each other and like young women sticking together. It's, it's important to lift each other up and to support each other and support each other's passions and dreams. There's this one quote that I really like that um, good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. And that's what being a Girl Scout has meant to me. You always know you can rely on those group of people and you can Girl Scout together and help the world and change the world one act of kindness at a time. It's definitely helped me see myself more as an individual and break away from the form that everybody wants you to be. It's helped me find my own voice. Can one girl change the world? Definitely. I think anyone can change the world. If you see a need for something and you're passionate about it and you really want to make a difference, you can make a difference. Nothing's holding you back if it's something that you want to change and it's something, again, that you're passionate about and that you really think can make the world a better place, then of course. <laughs> I think definitely. I think anyone on their own can make a difference in the world, even in just the tiniest amounts of ways. I know that especially through the gold projects, girls in my troop have made differences. Yes, one girl can change the world, in my humble opinion, yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> why not? <laughs> one girl can, can change the world for sure. I think it's definitely important to support her and to support each other to help her get there. I 100% believe that one person, male, female, anything in between, they can make the movement that changes the world. And I think they can gather the people that change the world and they can lead that. One girl can change the world if she uses her voice and inspires the people around her and those people around them, her work together to make change and that can change the world. Hello to my current World Award Girl Scouts. Congratulations on achieving the highest award in scouting. From one Girl Scout Gold Awardee to another, congratulations, welcome to the sisterhood, and we cannot wait to see where you take your talents next. Congratulations to this year's Gold Award Girl Scouts. You all are go-getters and you have addressed some of the most pressing issues um, facing our state and our country today. From vaping, to addressing equity in athletics, to cultural preservation, to species extinction. Wow, you all are amazing. You are also innovators and continually inspired and impressed me through your creativity and resourcefulness to the solutions that you came up with. Um, you all also are risk takers. I know there were many challenges for each of you with your projects, but you were never afraid to um, take those challenges head on and overcome them. But most importantly, you all are leaders. And uh, I am so proud of each of you for the work that you have done to make a difference, um, not only in our state, but in our country. So way to go, Izzy, Kylie, Jessica, Isabel, Helen, and Audra. I am so proud of you all. Congratulations. Hi, it's Carrie Riley, and I'm the board chair of the Girl Scouts of Maine. More now than ever, I wanna give out a huge Thank you and congratulations for all that you've done to make Girl Scouts, your communities, your families, your schools, a better place to be. I think we can all say that in these times, what we look for is leadership and you have proven to be those leaders. So congratulations 
And we wish you all the very best in all that you will be doing in the coming months and coming years. Hi everyone, my name is Jackie Newell. I am a member of the Board of Directors for the Girl Scouts of Maine. I also sit on the Gold Award Committee, so I have seen all of your project plans and your proposals, and I just wanna say congratulations. It takes a village to get your gold award, but every village needs a leader and that is you ladies. So congratulations. We appreciate your dedication and your commitment to this project, to all of your projects in your various communities. You did it, it's amazing. It's gonna stick with you for a long time. People are gonna recognize that you are gold award recipients for the rest of your life. So congratulations. We can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you for representing Maine and you're going places, congratulations. Congratulations to our Gold Award Girl Scouts. What a huge accomplishment, and you should be very proud. Thank you for being the dreamers and doers who make the world a better place. You are making a difference, not only in the world, but in your local communities, and you are setting the highest example for other young Girl Scouts to follow. Congratulations on this major milestone and for your commitment to the Girl Scout organization. My advice is to continue to blaze a trail and break through the glass ceiling that in my opinion still exists for women in high ranking leadership roles. Businesses need more female leaders like you. Best of luck on your continued journey and congratulations 